Hey guys, this is Eliza and welcome back to a new video. So today is a fairy loot unboxing. So I actually have two things to unbox. I have the fairy loot plus one of their like exclusive edition books, which I have already opened because I wanted to make sure it was okay because it came in a really shit box. It was in one of those ones that's like kind of like two flat pieces and then the ends come in. But there was like probably that much space that it was just banging around on either end. And the corners are a little bit bent, but... It's not too bad. I was like, I'm able to bend them back. It's fine. But like, for fuck's sake, package your books better. Like, package your fucking books better. Especially special editions. Like, package your fucking books better. There was recently discussion on that exact topic with them online because someone else received a book literally just thrown in a box and it was fucking destroyed. Like, I do not know how it happened, but it was fucked. So it came in one of the black bags, which helped with absolutely nothing because... They're that thin, you can see through them. But the book is The Gilded Cage. There goes my Stanley knife. The book is The Gilded Cage by Lynette Noni, which is the sequel to The Prison Healer. And as you can see, the corner is a bit dented, but I will be able to fix it. Surprisingly, the bottom is fine, but the top corners, not so much. This is what it looks like. And then we have the sprayed edges with the sword. Under the dust jacket, we have this artwork, and then there you have this artwork under the dust jacket. It also has that lovely teal shade, which is not really even picking up on camera, but it has that lovely teal shade on the top as well. It's meant to match this one here, which it does there, but the spines, I mean, the spines kind of match, but I don't know. To me, I would have kept the spine teal the same as, like, you know, Prison Healer, we got purple, Purple. I would have done teal. Teal. There we go. So they are slightly different images. So that's that one. Now let's get into the box, which I'm assuming is December. So this is what we can see. Holy crap, did they actually put the spoiler card on top? I can see the second book. There is not much in here. And also, again, not packaged very well. Like, look at all this empty space. There is no worms there. There is nothing there. Okay, so this is December. This is Dance with Death. This is what the spoiler card looks like. And firstly, let's get the book out of the road. This is the second book and it's all dirty. I don't know if you can see, but the pages are dirty around the edges where it's been rubbing up against the freaking box. Oh my God. I'm getting less and less impressed with Fairy Loot's packaging. Like they're getting very fucking lazy with this shit. And like, yeah, they've gone big probably too quickly, but you still need to keep up with quality. Just saying. So this is the coldest touch. Even the front of it's dirty. Like this wasn't even put, like why didn't they just put it in the bag with the other book? Like fucking hell. I'm sorry. The, yeah, this book is dirty, but there's like marks all over it here. Wherever there's like a lighter color, there's like fucking marks on it because it's just been banging around in here with these recycled paper wriggly worms or whatever they are, which are gross. There's another item just shoved in there. Like it's literally falling out of its bag. I'm sorry, what the fuck? Okay, so death drew them together. So this is a romance between a person and a vampire, I'm guessing. Yeah, really not thrilled about that. It's not signed. It's It's got a digital printed signature up the top. Not really impressed with that. The book that I thought it was going to be, because it did mention it being a... Um, what's it called, vampire book. There was a book releasing in January that I'm really keen for. I'll put it on the screen, but I was really keen for that one. I thought that might be it, but obviously it's not. Then we have this. This is the item that was literally hanging out of the bag. I just closed it. But this is a letter opener and it's Jack's dagger. I don't know who Jack is. <laughs> Jack the Ripper. I won't be opening letters with it, but this is what it looks like. Then we have are these temporary tattoos. What? No, it's an iron on patch. What? It says Nasserai's tattoo. Is that what that says? I don't know what that says. I thought it was going to be like a temporary tattoo, but apparently it's an iron on patch. I don't know what this is based off of. I don't even really know what that is. Is that meant to be a flame? I'm sure it means something to whoever's read that book and actually knows what her tattoo looks like. I'll have a look. Actually, let me have a look at the spoiler card as soon as we actually have it this time, whereas usually it's at the bottom. Oh, cool. So the letter opener is inspired by the Prince of Hearts, Jack's dagger from Once Upon a Broken Heart, which I've recently read and I did actually quite enjoy it. Then we have the Iron On Patch. That is from We Hunt the Flame, which DNF. Then we have a book sleeve. These Violet Delights, which I haven't actually read yet. So... 
but it's another one of the exact same type of book sleeve that we got a while back where it's like vinyl zipper at the top it's got the fairy loot logo on the zipper and it's like kind of velvety lined not velvet but like it's soft but yeah like they're decent quality but i don't particularly like the print quality and i'm not a huge fan of that image it's just not my thing it's like for one i don't like reds and stuff but yeah it's just not my thing and i haven't read these violent delights so i've got no not sentimental value but like connection to it you know what i mean it is on my 21 books to read in 2021 i might read it and use the book sleeve let's see if it will fit there's these violent delights it's a standard sized hardcover like the, the larger of the two mm, yep no it's not gonna get in there past the zip it's not gonna go in there i think i've spoken about this before on my channel but i do not like book sleeves with zips especially with hardcovers if you leave the dust jacket on or with paperbacks that are really thin you go to pull it out it catches on the zip at the top you wrecked your book. So I personally don't like them, but yeah, this doesn't even fit these Violent Delights, which is the book that it's themed around. Look at that. That's, that's what I'm talking about. That's an extra large in ours. And they're nice and soft. Off topic, shameless self promo. My business is always linked down below. I'm assuming this is the bookmark that's like stuffed at the bottom. Okay, we've got two bookmarks. Okay, and then we have two bookmarks inspired by Hades and Persephone. Oh, these are collectible items, great. So they're starting another collection series. So it's got Fairy Loot's logo on the back with this pretty design that says zero point, uh, collectible number one and collectible number two. And this is what they look like. They are quite pretty. Then we have the tarot cards, which, actually quite interesting which that's what they look like i hope that's in focus i can't really see who are these based off of this is eo and victra from red rising which is a series i fucking did not like now surprisingly after all that looking at the spoiler card i didn't actually i don't know what the book is <laughs> so we have black sprayed edges so firstly we have the matching bookmark to the spoiler card we have the fairy scoop and then the letter from the author, which has got this print on it. And then I have never heard of this. And it has a signed booklet. So this is Year of the Reaper, The Past Never Forgets by Micaiah Luce Lucier. Is that how you pronounce it? This is what it looks like. I have never heard of this. What does the original cover look like? Why don't they put the original cover in here? So this one has exclusive cover, sprayed edges, a signed book plate, artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket, and foil embossing on the hardcover. We have this design on the naked hardcover, and then this on the inside of the dust jacket. Um, this is probably one of their plainer ones. Actually, I wanna see what the cover looks used to look like. Give me a second. Cause like recently we've had all these like stunning designed you know, and then this one's like kind of boring. Okay, so the cover is not that much different. It's red, which I actually prefer the black because I'm just not a fan of red. But also, I really don't like that cover. Okay, so let's read a synopsis. So it says, three years ago, Lord Cassia disappeared in the midst of a war on a mission entrusted to him by the king. Since then, a devastating plague has swept the land, leaving countless dead and the kingdom forever altered. Having survived a rotting prison cell and a merciless illness, Cass, now 18, wants only to return to his mum in the mountains and forget past horrors, but home is not what he remembers. His castle has become a refuge for the royal court, and they have brought their enemies with them. When an assassin targets those closest to the queen, Cass is drawn into a search for a killer, one that leads him to form an unexpected bond with a brilliant young historian named Lena fucking romance. Cass and Lena soon realize that who is behind the attacks is far less important than why. They must look to the past, following the trail of a terrible secret, one that could threaten the kingdom's newfound peace and plunge it into war. So yeah, I'm assuming it's a romance because on the inside of the dust jacket it, they were holding hands. But also the mystery, like it kind of sounds interesting. And it's not a super huge book, like it's not that big really. It's just over 300 pages, like 320 pages. So that's really not that big. But it actually does sound interesting. I'm curious about this. Also, that's what the spine looks like. I don't think I've shown that yet. Also, what does the spine look like on... Oh, it's got like vines on it. It's kind of hard to see. This is probably the thing that excites me most out of this entire box. But yeah, I really wasn't impressed with how they packaged this or how they packaged the sequel to The Present Healer. Their packaging seems to be going to shit recently, which is really not on. And if you're going to send a second book, put it in something. Like, fuck. Like, let's just... I just want to test a theory for a second. Both books fitted. Both of them are in there. 
why couldn't you put that in there? And then it wouldn't have rubbed against the packaging in the box and it wouldn't be disgusting. At the very least, it would have protected it against, oh shit, against getting scuff marks all over it. But anyways, that is it for this video. Let me know if you are getting fairy loot. Was yours packaged better than mine? Chat in the comments. And that's it for this video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.